Alright, it lasted some time, I guess. Oh, great. One of those. Fuck that. Pish. I don't think they can hurt me in the in the goop. Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can oh, collective fuck. find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human. But you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in Collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's got to be more to it than that. Oh my god, there's so much. <clears throat> Not even a save. Oh, there is a save? No, there isn't a save. Is the push still here? Yeah. Fading data. Charles, the US is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The US government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. Mm. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas. It's right there. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. They're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collecting launchers. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. It's in, it's in, fuck. It's gone again. I'm so sick of the plush. It's ter the dialogue is probably the worst the worst thing about this game. It really is terrible. It just it's so disconnected and so random. It it just yeah. How you would say not a fan.
Oh shit! I thought I had that bug. I'm dead. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. How is it doing that? It's stuck at range. Attack. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm just stood on the... So buggy. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Those plush things just absolutely wreck me. I don't want to fight. I really don't want to fight it. Uh, you play as a Metro Cop and a Combine Elite. Mm. Interesting. Sounds good. I really want to play through. I saw you play through uh, Black Mesa recently, and or at least you were playing Black Mesa recently. I kind of want to do the same. Do you fucking give me a break, man? How is this fair, man? Tell me. There is no way I can get, I can take all this. Out. Constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The US government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our city bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans know it's a pleasure serving with you, Major P3. Unfortunately, you are about to be killed. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 
сотрудников комплекса покинуть территорию. Reduce your alert level. You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. <laughs> so you will help me. Please stay next to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. You will manage. It won't take long. It won't take 535 to 650 days in current condition. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. I evaded it. Oh, thank God. I'm detecting even more enemy signatures, Major. My spy! You're about to have a serious battle on your hands. Let's go. Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The it's back. <laughs> complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will of course be required, but what then? What about after humans reach the Red Planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species- Access granted. I'm so dumb with the dialogue, man. <laughs> I- d No- Is it created what I wanted it to create and I left all of them? Oh no, they were sent to storage, weren't they? Oh, thank God. I was about to reload. I was about to reload. Okay. We don't want these fat boys. I wonder if we can save here. Fading data. Exit and reload. Will it still be alert to and have the plush attacking me? Let's see. Mars is also impossible to live without a dome or other artificial environment. True. True. But we'll see. You never know. Paul Emma. Those frames will drop for a second. It's uploading. This is what cloud saves do to me. Uh, are we back? We're coming back. Too cold and too low air pressure. Maybe you can deal with the warmth, uh, but no low. Well, I mean, who who's to say what we'll uh, eventually figure out? 
you know? Although this is 1955, so I don't think there will be any... There won't be any no domes. <laughs> There'll definitely be domes. I really hope that plush is gone. I'm, I really don't want to fight another plush. They suck. And the only reason why I don't want to fight another plush is because it hurts my hand. Just constantly spinning around it, slashing. Ugh. Don't think anything will fix the human body needing atmospheric density. Well, that being said, um, yep, completely gone. There you go. Um, they have developed the technology to have the human head, the human head brain working separated from its body. So that's how Pavlov, uh, Petrov, sorry, um, has survived. Um, so, you know, maybe. It's doubtful, but, you know, anything's possible. Okay. I guess we have to take this part slower. Uh, brain in a robot. Uh, I'd consider that artificial environment. True. True. Uh, I'd agree with that. Where did all those come from? <laughs> Motherfucker. Get in the safe room. Even if we fixed Mars atmosphere to be enough O2, there's not enough air to breathe. Wouldn't, te I mean, technically speaking. Great. Um, wouldn't terraforming it make more air? I mean, we're talking about science fiction, really, aren't we? So I don't know whether there is an answer to that question. Christ. Motherfucker. We're jamming. Uh, 
material coming from in order to contain the air you need an atmosphere domes should be thought of as a starter and a stop gap there's a lot of volume in the atmosphere to add mars's gravity is too low to maintain the oh the gravity yeah yeah that makes sense maintaining an atmosphere for the whole planet is quite nothing uh therefore you need to maintain the dome cities yeah true it's not going to be self-reliant is it I mean, there's no, there's no, at the, at the very base of the problem, there's no resources on Mars for you to even, even if you terraform it. Um, 